Bitch, I'm about to blow up Uh-huh Say what? Bitch, I'm about to blow up Hi, right, it's Tyler Mike here with Mark's Mellie Bell Hey! Super Training Gym, Mark Bell's Powercast on iTunes Here to answer more of your questions on the Instagram Whoa, Instagram. That's, that's a big forearm That's a five arm Five head, five People arm People rarely go with the forearm flex They're always That's all I it. really got Really? I like tricep. I like last second when you're about to take a photo with somebody to go switch. Boom. No one expects it. Just kind of turn and get the elbow up to get the angle on the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head back, tricep forward. Look at this. Look how big. See? That's huge. It's like Bigfoot's dick. Hey. Uh, my max on bench is 305, and it's been for the longest time. How can I break through that plateau and get to 315? Uh, whatever you're currently doing, change it. Try to do something different. If you're uh, currently doing sets of 10, Start doing sets of three. If you currently do sets of three, start doing sets of ten. I suggest if you're benching once a week, same idea. Bench twice a week. Maybe more shoulder work. Maybe more tricep work. Hit some of the angles that you haven't been hitting. Yeah, have the other day a week. Um, you know, be a higher rep one or a speed thing. Uh, something along those lines. Try to incorporate some bands and chains. Basically, just try to do a lot of different things uh, to get yourself better. If you're not currently doing any pauses, start throwing those in there too. DC or Marvel. Like, I'm a nerd. Like, I love Star Wars, and I like some of this stuff, but I, don't, I still don't even know the difference. Like, I'm not a real high-class nerd. I'm like a dumb nerd. Yeah, I like all of it. Like, I think DC's Batman and Marvel's X-Men. I don't know. I like the Hulk. I like Superman. I like all that shit. Yeah, I dig it. Batman. Your questions are too long, guys. I'm just going to skip you. Accessory work to help with the initial push on the bench press. I guess uh, speed off the chest is what he's kind of talking about. Yeah, you know, a lot of times people are people are looking to improve their lift through the assistance exercises, but you can improve your lift by just doing the lift itself. Um, some pause work would be a good idea. Uh, three to five second pauses uh, is going to help with explosive power off the chest. In my opinion, most people um, that I've ever worked with, I've never really seen anybody have an actual problem off their chest um, because there's always a little bit of acceleration off the chest. People usually stall out a uh, quarter of the way up or halfway up. Sometimes people miss their lockout or something like that, but um, to build up some of that, uh, some of the strength kind of in that in-between range, I would suggest um, doing some pause work would be a good idea. Some spoto presses would be a good idea. Um, pin presses would be really good. Those hurt really bad. Try to set them really low, um, kind of uh, towards, towards the nippies. Um, those are brutal. Um, what if you got really long nippies? Where should you set yeah, it? Yeah. I just meant set it down towards the oh, nippies. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, uh, it's like three to five sets of that, three to five repetitions would be good. I think the truth is, like, with all these issues, whether you miss at the top or you miss at your chest or you feel slow, is like close grip, slingshot, some pin presses, heavy dumbbell presses. Like, they're all kind of going to fix your problem if you just start hammering them. Yeah, and have one of your friends watch, you know, some of your lifts and just say, you know, what would that look like? If it looks slow all the time, try to get faster. You're giving them a lot of credit. We know these people have no friends. Yeah, that's true. What's a good hip warm-up slash stretch? always seems to hurt after my squats and deadlifts. Please help. Um, you know, any of this stuff from Kelly Sturette, mobilitywad.com. Um, couch if you, stretch. If you look up, yeah, the couch stretch is amazing. If you look up... Uh, You're actually talking to the mic. It's not yeah. plugged in. Oh, it's not? No. I thought this was plugged in. I've been no. talking into it the whole time. No, no. We got um, a boom mic. Yeah. Whole sound team. <laughs> hey. Uh, if you uh, look at, if you go on the YouTubes and you type in Mark Bell and Kelly Sturette, there's a uh, a video where I take over the make sure uh, it's on YouTube and not red red tube. Yeah, something else will yeah, pop up on that one. Uh -huh. um, some I take over the mobility project for a bit and just show you a couple of different movements for squats and deadlifts. How do you get a huge chest like nasty big, nasty big chest? Most people get um, overdeveloped uh, arms, uh, bicep or overdeveloped arms, chest, quads from overtraining. So you really have to, uh, from quote unquote over training, you really have to hammer the uh, area that you're trying to get bigger. Uh, for the chest, I would, um, you know, start your workout with powerlifting and kind of end your workout with more like a bodybuilding protocol of sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. I'd also recommend supersetting stuff. Maybe you superset a, uh, you know, dumbbell bench press with some push-ups or some dumbbell bench press with some flies. Or some, yeah, pec deck. Yeah. Pec just, deck never hurt nobody. You know, um, in order to make the muscle grow, you have to challenge it in several different ways. Um, way number one would be heavy weight, and way number two uh, would basically be through high repetitions, such as, like, bodybuilding type stuff. Super setting, try to get yourself fucking sore, basically. Kieran Spore just dropped in to tell us uh, he loves how we speak to the fans and keep up the good work, guys. Well, thank you. Uh, what's the recommended carb, fat, and protein intake per day? 
that's way general, my man. Like uh, Mark weighs 240 pounds. I weigh 195 pounds. Uh, what we're going to eat is going to be different. A girl's going to eat different than a guy. If you have a desk job, it's going to be different than if you're out working in the field all day. So basically, it's going to end up being a lot of trial and error. But maybe a starting point? Yeah, it highly depends on the person. Uh, what I would suggest is uh, basically to go one gram per pound of body weight and protein. Um, it could be a little bit less than that if you if you don't like eating tons of protein. I would say a similar amount of carbohydrates. If you're trying to build up size, you might need a little bit more than that. Maybe go 1.25 times your body weight. And then fat would probably be a quarter of, uh, of everything else. So if you weigh... Uh, 200 pounds, you're getting in around 200 grams of protein, about 200 grams or 300 grams of uh, carbohydrates, and then uh, probably down to uh, 50 to 75 grams of fat, something like that. Yep, same thing. If you're a natural skinny guy, yeah, you might have to boost that up to, who knows, 500, 600 carbs if you're everybody's just weight. everyone's just so different too it's a matter of preference like if you like to eat more fat you're gonna have to lower your carbohydrate intake if you like to eat more carbs you are gonna have to lower your fat intake how can I improve on my grip strength for deadlifts uh, you can do a lot of double overhand work hold on to your deadlifts at the top um, even when you switch to an under over grip for a, for a heavier deadlift um, try to hold on to those deadlifts for 10 to 20 seconds uh, Ed Cohn showed us an exercise you can go on my youtube channel youtube.com backslash super training 06 and uh, he does kind of a side bend move that me and Mike try to do too. It hurts. Uh, it's really hard. It's a one-handed uh, movement um, with, with a heavy barbell. So look that up. It's just uh, Ed Cohn assistance exercise or something like that. It should pop up. Same thing with Ed Cohn. Uh, his advice was not to train your forearms. It was to train your fingers, right. which makes sense. Like wrist curls and stuff, I've never really done them, but I don't feel they translate to deadlift strength as well as like uh, just holding stuff, maybe doing chin-ups, uh, the exercise that he shows us. Yeah, and, you're doing, and, a, doing a chin-up, maybe yeah. just, maybe just uh, you know, at the end of the exercise, just hold yourself up there for an extra 30 yeah. seconds or something. Is your ass natural? My, my ass is not natural. My body uh, is drug-free, if that's what you're uh, pertaining to. His ass is so fat, we can make a baby. It's a big <laughs> ass, but it's not natural ass. Yeah. Like, it's uh, artificial ass. Baby got back. Hey, hey, artificial a ass. A little in the middle, but you got much back. <laughs> L.A. face with an Oakland booty? That's me. Oh. L.A. face, Oakland booty. Wow. Yeah. Our bad calories better than no calories. He said our, like R, but I think he meant like R, like uh, the question. <laughs> Are bad calories better than no calories? Too complicated, man. We're skipping you. Can I get a slingshot gear for my 20th birthday? Yes, you can. www.howmuchabench.net. There's a sale going on right now, actually. Yeah, hopefully. Well, yeah, this be... video will go on, I think. Yeah, Whatever. I don't know. Nah, no sale for you never, guys. Never mind. <laughs> Secret sale. <laughs> what, uh, to you, defines a power lifter? Do they have to compete, or is it just someone that trains in that style? Uh, and, you know, from a business standpoint, uh, anybody who does a bench press, squat, or deadlift is a customer, customer of mine. I, I think, like, that's the truth, you know. Like, I know bodybuilders and maybe some elite powerlifters will disagree. And, and my word isn't all by any means. But in my opinion, man, if you're training to get strong, then, then you're a powerlifter. Yeah. Even, like, weightlifters. Like, they squat all the time to get strong. Sure, man, they're powerlifters. Who cares? What's a label? Yeah, the great Joe Weider, he basically said anyone who's in the gym trying to gain muscle, anyone who's trying to uh, lose body fat... He's a bodybuilder. Yeah, right? so that's yeah, you're building he, your body, right? That's how he created his empire. Yeah. Do you feel like less of a man sans, which means without, a hat? And yes, I do. It's my it's my comfy uh, blankie. Right now, I just got the do going. Shout out to Anthony Barber, 916, with a fresh cut. He cuts all the Giants' hair. The San Francisco Giants, he cut my hair. How's it look? His last name is Barber? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not, but how great would that be? <laughs> oh. That's just his uh, Instagram name. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He's got more followers than both of us. My, Anthony Barber. My barber has more followers than us. Does he? Yeah. God damn. How many does he have? 180? Like 150, I think. What a maniac. I'll catch him. Fuck him. We're coming for <laughs> you. What would you, uh, What would be your best advice for a teen power bodybuilder? Hey, now. <laughs> we don't talk to teens. Just lift, man. Don't don't get hurt. Do it forever. Try to eat right and try to lift. Have fun. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're trying to be big and strong, um, don't miss meals. You got to get five to six meals in a day. Take it as serious as you can, but also try to have fun with it because you have to have some longevity in it. Um, and if you're trying to do powerlifting slash bodybuilding at the same time, uh, I would suggest going through periods of time where you just focus in on bodybuilding and periods of time where you just focus in on powerlifting the way Stan Efferding did. I think this question is for you because it says, does Silent Mike's taint smell like marshmallows or Reese's Pieces? Um, he, he, your taint, actually, I got a few whiffs of it. 
uh, the the uh, fan kind of blew my way a couple times, and it kind of smells like a um, like a barbecue sauce a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been eating a lot. I've been trying to do the Ronnie Coleman, just like fries and chicken, and then just dump barbecue sauce on mm -hmm. it all. That must be this, where the scent is coming from. And that's where I got this tan, <laughs> eating like Ronnie Coleman. I think that's it, guys. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you like. Check out Mark Bell's Powercast on iTunes. You can find Smelly and his big fat face on YouTube.com backslash training 6 I featured on there all the damn time, so I suggest you head over there. And uh, we'll check you guys next time. Later.